We are going to win together. We'll make sure we'll be better for one and second. A few moments later. Two ghats completed. Damn tired. Hi guys, the cyclisting here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to share my experience in a race that I recently participated earlier this month. The event is known as the Sayadri Classic. The Sayadri Classic is a racing event that is held in the Sayadri mountain ranges and it starts in Mahabaleshwar. Mahabaleshwar is nested in Maharashtra and is known for its dense forest and beautiful hill passes. These are a part of the Western Ghat mountain ranges. The Western Ghats provide the perfect backdrop. The Sayadri Classic Edition 5 was held on the 9th of December 2023 by the Speaking Wheels Cycling Community which is based out of Pune. Let's touch base on the different categories that are a part of the Sayadri Classic Race. The first category is for the one ghat recreational category. It is for men, women. The second are the two ghats category and in two ghats category we had multiple options. The first one is recreational. So the recreational is for men, women or mixed. Then there is a category of competitive solo men elite competitive solo women elite and then there is a category of competitive solo for the people who are 50 plus. In the four guard category there is recreational solo a group of two for men women or mixed. There is a competitive elite open for men and then there is competitive elite open for women. The cost of participation in this AD classic race you will be able to see it on your screen now. So it is based on the category that you are participating in and the number of people who are participating whether it is a solo or a group of two. So based on that the prices differ. So now you will be able to see all the prizes that are applicable. The cost for participation includes a lot of goodies. So first you get a beautiful jersey from a pace. With it there is breakfast and lunch which is also included in this cost. Along with that there is hydration and nutrition support at every 6 kilometers. They will also provide a beautiful finisher medal and with it you have bibs. There is a timing chip affixed to it. Now let's talk about the four different cards that they chose was Ambenali Ghat, Pasarni Ghat, Medha Ghat and Tapola Ghat. But the Tapola Ghat was cancelled because the road conditions were very poor and were not ideal for cycling. So if we go for one Ghat category, they had to climb the Pasarni Ghat. For the two Ghat category, they had to climb Pasarni Ghat along with Ambenali Ghat. And for the four Ghat category, they had to climb Pasarni Ghat, Ambenali Ghat and they had to climb Medha Ghat twice. So the Pasarni Ghat climb was around 9.5 kilometers. The total elevation gain was 484 meters and the average gradient was 5.1 percent. The Ambenali Ghat, the climb of this Ghat extends for around 32 kilometers with the total elevation gain of 1266 meters. So this was something which was nerve wracking. For Medha Ghat, the total climb is 18 kilometers and the elevation gain is 650 meters. This is the first time that I am participating in any hill climbing challenge. So first wanted to get a zest of how it feels to climb mountains. It would be fair for me if I go for the two ghat competitive elite category first. I had taken a few clips. Let's go and check out those videos now and come back later on so that I can share my experience of this edition of Sayadri Classic. So this is everything that I'm carrying. You can see starting from the left top. It's my helmet, my jersey, an extra tube, front light, tail light, tire removal kit. Then there is a pump, some protein bars and some energy gels. Next to it is the Apace bib shorts, my sunglasses, my gloves, socks. Below that is a bandana. These are my cycling shoes, my Garmin 1030 cycling computer, an HRM and the speed sensor with a toolkit. So we have reached the point where we have to do the bib collection. And it's at Hotel Sunai. So you can see there are different counters here. This is from the D bike for servicing and the checkups. And we have other counters as well. And that's the map route. This is the first Ghat Pasarni in the two Ghat edition. And this is the second Ghat Amman Ali. And for the people who are doing four Ghats, they have to do Medha Ghat twice. This is for the Medha Ghat. This is where the bib collection is happening. Yeah. So this is the jersey. It is from a piece. This is how it looks. 
pretty decent quality and we are just gonna click some photos here and move to the place where we are gonna have our lunch hi this is amit i'm his buddy partner we are gonna race together and win win together if we are gonna win together we'll make sure we'll be battle for one and second <laughs> but we'll see that so you will see in the future no winner also we need one lakh like, total in our <laughs> In success and hopefully with the participation of the gentlemen and ladies, this edition too will be a memorable one. As compared to last year, for those who are you can see the cycles are still racked. How does it feel? Like damn, jackass. Yes. So we have checked in to our room, and as you can see, the bike is here. अभी तक इस पर मैंने कुछ भी अफिक्स नहीं किया है नाउ इज द राइट टाइम टू पुट एवरीथिंग ऑन सो दैट टुमारो मॉर्निंग वंस आई वेक अप आई जस्ट पिक दी बाइक एंड गो आई डोंट हैव टू डू एनीथिंग एडिशनल सही है। एट द स्टार्ट पॉइंट फॉर दी फोर गार्ड competitive will start and then us so the first ghat is done and uh, we are just going to the second ghat so there is a neutral zone of 22 km we have to reach mtdc we have to check in there have some refreshments and then start our descent towards ambenali ghat so i'll see you there so we have done one ghat now we are at the base of the second we are just having our energy gel before we start almost we completed around 62 km yeah we have to now climb the... 33 km the toughest part probably Two hours, more than two hours. Let's see how it turns out. We'll see after two yes. hours. Cheers. Hello. This is Ashwin, Arnav, yeah. Bhavna. This is Milan sir. Say hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Enjoying, ah? Garmi ho. We have done it. Two ghats completed. Damn tired. A lot of cramps in the way. It's very hot. I'll see you later. The road conditions of Pasarni Ghat are amazing. You will not find a single bad patch. There was a neutral zone where your time won't be calculated. The distance between the top of Pasarni Ghat towards uh, Ambenali Ghat was around 23 kilometers. I thought I could have, you know, taken my car from this particular point to the start of the next Ghat because I wouldn't have wasted my energy. The race should not be tiring yourself in the neutral zone, but focusing on the segments that actually matter. that is my perspective but other people might have their perspective as well while we were crossing the venna lake my hands froze because the temperature was around 9 degrees so it was not an easy way to reach to mtdc we had a breakfast we had to check in we had a bit of hydration we rested for around a couple of minutes and then we started our descent towards ambenali ghat the road is not completely good you might find around 10 to 15 patches which are very bad so it was a 33 km downhill my back and my hands were constantly paining so once i reached i had to take a rest for around 10 to 15 minutes to get my body back in shape i started the ambenali ghat climb at around 10 am the sun was up it wasn't as cool as it was during the pasarni ghat but then i had practiced climbing in sun as well what i feel is more than the physical pain it was the mental game where you had to be consistent and you don't have to give up for 32 kilometers i have not done very long climbs the maximum continuous climb that i have done is 9 kilometers and that is siyagad the gradient of ambenali ghat was not as steep as pasarni ghat but it was continuous so i had to maintain a good cadence i used the same strategy where my heart rate was in the range of 165 to 175 i kept a cadence over 70 the focus that i kept in my mind is that i will only stop when i see a hydration point so every hydration point i went i took a break of 30 40 seconds then i started towards the next hydration point and by breaking the whole climb into small small climbs it really helped me 
to conquer the ambenali ghat ideally i would have loved to complete the ambenali ghat in under 2 hours but my timing was 2 hours and 5 minutes i got a very good comment from the pro rider and elite riders which are doing these races uh, from a long time and they said for the first time this is an amazing timing motivated me that okay i am not that bad and i need to learn of how to get a bit faster on the climbs as well this is what i will take back as learnings and use them in the next races that i participate in once we crossed the finish line i could feel that yeah i have conquered such a big thing in my life then we went towards mtdc where we had a lunch i had to ride back to my hotel which was under 22 kilometers from mtdc i collected my medal i clicked some pictures with my cycling buddy the arrangements were so good and it was cycling oriented breakfast and lunch it wasn't oily it wasn't spicy from the arrangement perspective it was excellent there was not a single point where i needed water and the hydration points were in there so big thumbs up to the organizers and uh, the partners who collaborated so in all it was a very good experience for me and i would definitely love to be better and to participate in the next edition of sayadri classic and for people who are watching this video who have not yet participated in it i would definitely recommend you guys to participate it in the next edition but with it i would also request you all to practice climbs a bit i hope this video is informative for you guys if you love the content that i make please like this video uh, share it with your friends and if you are still not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button this is all from the sayadri classic edition 5 december 2023 until then merry christmas have a happy new year there is a lot of climbing and cycling we have to do for the next year this is the cyclist singh signing off i will see you guys in my next video bye bye